Hello everyone, this is International Logistics TV. My name is Wing. We are recently interested in the level of products and the way they work in logistics. So today we will focus on the typical supply chain of Twice company, which named the Mattel. After that, we will discuss the overall challenges they are currently facing. Mattel is a world leading toy company and has one of the most powerful children's and family entertainment product catalogs in the world. The brand owned by Mattel, including Barbies, Hot Wheels, Fisher Price, Matchbox, and Disney Princess. In 2020, Mattel generated 4.58 billion in revenue. The main material of most toys is plastic, and plastic toys occupy about 90% of the toy market. This time we mainly use Mattel's most famous Barbie doll as a material analysis. Because all plastic toys has different manufacturing processes that they all follow in the standard supply chain. Most of the Mattel's plastic dolls are made of vinyl, also known as PVC. Major resin producers provide PVC components, which are the world's second largest selling thermoplastics after polyethylene. This step is done as a plastic manufacturing, but sometimes if a special formula is required, it is performed by the door manufacturing. The head and the lips are made through a process called a rotational modeling. Then during the modeling process, the door part must be spot checked for defects. Finally, plastic doors must comply with specific toy safety regulations originally established by the US Consumer Product Safety Commission before they can be decorated and packaged uh, in a shipping carton. After passing the inspections, the toy are put on shelves in distribution centers near major consumer markets for quick delivery. When the online shipping finally checked out, Toys are selected from the inventory and quickly shipped to the homes of little girls and boys. In order to ensure the integrity and safety of toys, great care must be taken during transportation. A reliable logistics company is very important for transporting products. Through investigation, I found that DHL and Mattel has maintained a long-term partnership. In order to ensure the sustainability and the environmental friendliness of the supply chain, DHL has opened a new dedicated logistics distribution center in Victoria. The facility will also provide repackaging services for Mattel products. Now, ocean shipping is the most common mode of transportation. Although the speed is maybe uh, slower, it has the advantage of low cost. And it is also more convenient to choose transportation for a large number of products. Now we will discuss the challenges. In the past five years, due to the increase in the number of imported uh, toys from overseas, this segment's shares of industrial revenue has dropped significantly. Revenue in this segment has also decreased due to age compression, where children outgrow toys at a younger age. For example, children have been using computer games and other digital entertainment at a younger age. During this period, age compression has caused the children to prefer video games and the mobile applications, not traditional toys. Consumers' demand for electronic toys continues to increase, which has also reduced the demand for more traditional toys. Also, due to the spread of COVID-19, retail channels has been affected and the consumers was becoming more and more interested in game consoles, such as Nintendo Switch and VR devices. Therefore, the value of traditional toys has been declining slightly. Other challenges is due to the nature and structure of the material, most toys cannot be recycled. When the toy is opened, the outer package will be discarded. So the, so, uh, the toy will generate a lot of packaging waste. Not only sales issues may bother Mattel, but the environment may also be affected. Also, however, due to the increasing environmental problem caused by toys, Mattel announced that its new goal is to achieve 100% recyclability in our products and packaging by 2030. We may be able to look forward to it. 
So this is all information about today's theory. Thank you.